ho, ho. It is now Christmas Eve, and as you can see, there's even a little bit of a flurry outside. I'm kind of feeling a days before Christmas. And you know what? That is the name of the game that we're going to talk about today. The days before Christmas. And I've got a lot to share with you in this game. Can I get it done in five minutes? Let's find out. So, the title of the game is Days Before Christmas. And Santa has a lot of work cut out for him to save the day because he's got some pretty sinister looking characters that seem to want to take care of him. Next, here is a look at the cover. This game was for the Sega Genesis. And then I've got a little bit of a backstory about this. There was a book called the Super Nintendo Compendium written by Jeffney Wittenhagen that I backed on Kickstarter and I gave him a little extra money where he said, if you help me out, I will do a write up on any game you pick. So naturally I picked the days before Christmas and Jeff did a write-up on the game for me. If you get far enough, there is a boss battle and that is one evil looking snowman. I mean, look at those eyes. He is, he is out, for, out for trout, as I would say. So with that, how about we get into some gameplay? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And I'm going to go with one player. Only days before Christmas, Santa slept in his house. An evil plot was brewing, cooked up by Awful Louse. Not an Awful Louse, Awful Louse. The cold and evil snowman scared all the elves away. Timekeeper stole plans from Santa's house that day. But for the vicious louse, this wasn't bad enough. I'm really going to show him. I'm going to play rough. I give it like a, a, a six, seven on the rhyming factor. But this game was also never came out in the United States, only in Australia and uh, Europe. So he tore the presents open and on them cast a spell. That's when Santa woke up. Something wasn't well. All his elves had vanished, his presence also gone, and threats were awaiting. Surely, more than one. Again, rhyme scale, eh. Beware the magic potion calling Santa's evil twin, the angry Anti-Claus, his fiend from within. So Anti must be Santa, pick presents all the way, to face the foes so bravely and make it through the day. Go beat the evil bosses who's lurking in the dark, Find his sleigh and reindeer set out to make his mark. Find every stolen present that was unjustly craved. For every kid on the earth, Christmas must be saved. That was a little better rhyme. And we have an advent calendar as our world stage. Santa's hallway. I really like the art. I, I, Santa's a very happy looking fellow in this game. And I've said before, there just aren't a lot of Christmas games out there to play because they're just, it's difficult to make money all year long on Christmas games because people are only in the Christmas mood in November, December. So Santa can do a couple things. He can jump, fire some magic, and do a lot of running. And maybe if I can find a hot cup of coffee, something cool might happen. Let's see if we can find that cup of coffee. Oh, there it is, the cup of coffee. Let's see what happens when we get, take a drink. Whoa, it's Santa with devil horns. And he looks mad. Oh boy, look, he's raving mad. He is just swatting his bag of toys and wham. The rats are gone, but for some strange reason, he can't swat open the presents. He can only swat rats. <laughs> oh, and happy Santa is back. So there you got a dose of anti-claws. Let's go get our presents. And one of them was a bomb. Oh, 
Do you see a little flashing Santa up there? Hey, I got a free guy. All right. Just full of Christmas cheer. And that took care of that. And, uh, oh, see the star up there? That's how you end a level. We'll see if we can get to that star and call it good. Oops, I gotta go a little higher. There we go. Oh, and I got another hot cup of coffee. And I don't know what the heck that is, but, but he's gone. He is history. So the question is, how can I get to that? Uh, uh, the star, sorry. Oh, there we go. It's the couch. Oh, and I'm gonna have to wait until Happy Santa has returned. And for some reason, I'm not jumping very high here. There we go. Oh, that was great! I completed the level, and there are 23 more, just like an advent calendar. Isn't that cool? So with that, I hope you enjoyed a look at the days before Christmas. I would say of all the Christmas games I've discovered out there, this one is by far my favorite. I think it's the most fleshed out. It's the most fun. And uh, it's interesting that it never released in the United States. I have no idea why. I find, I find that interesting, and I haven't been able to figure that out. So maybe someone else can tell me in the comments. Otherwise, on this Christmas Eve, I wish you all a wonderful evening. Hopefully where you are, you get some snow. I don't think I'm going to get any here, but who knows? Maybe we'll be lucky for a white Christmas. And be sure to tune back in tomorrow for one final Christmas game review. I'm Mike. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching The Watchmen. Please click on here to watch other episodes. And be sure to hit that like button, too. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll always be alerted to any future episodes. It really helps us out, and we appreciate it. We'll see you next time, and remember, we'll be watching.